How's it going, guys? Uh, welcome to the Midnight Gamers channel. I am Tara, and in other videos, you may know me as Jared, but uh, this is my first time doing a Geometry Dash video for this channel with commentary. So that's cool, I guess. Um, uh, right now, there's a bunch of construction going on in the background. Not construction landscaping, but I don't think you guys can hear it, which should be good. And if you can, I apologize for that. Um, but today I wanted to play a level that I had been struggling on, like, I, I don't know, like, I've had a history with this level where I wanted to beat it, but I just wasn't good enough to beat it, and I poured in a lot more time into it than I should have, and, uh, the list, this level's Dance Massacre, as you can see up here, uh, but I spent almost 6,000 attempts in it, and I... I shouldn't have done it, and I think just because of that, I don't really like this level a whole lot, but the level itself isn't super terrible. Um, so I guess I'm going to go in and just do a practice run to tell you guys just how I kind of feel about the parts, maybe. Uh, if you're trying to beat this level for yourself, uh, some tips and tricks, maybe. Uh, just whatever, and just get into it. All right, we're starting off great, um, but pretty much... You just gotta, I don't know, this intro part's just kind of memorization. It looks complicated, but right there you just need to like hold, there you need to hold. It, it's not too terrible. Uh, this mini ship, you have to, I don't know, just practice it. I feel like I'm just gonna say just practice it a whole lot because that's how I feel like I improved at this game. Um, when you go into the ball here, you can buffer this first jump by just holding down right before you land so you can get that first spike freely rather than having to time it when you land specifically. I'm doing great as you can see. <sighs> and those two orbs there you're going to want to hit them early and by that I mean let me just try and save closer. Right there, you're going to want to hit those early, because if you hit those late like that, you'll die. And sometimes it'll uh, put you too close to that spike on the top there, and you'll just die anyway. So you want to hit those two as early as you can. At this point, you pretty much just click each orb as you see it. The only part that requires a whole lot of sp like some actual timing, and here you can hold. Um, is right here. That jump requires timing. The first jump, you can just hold through it. So like, right up here, I'm just holding. But this second one, you have to time. And this is the hardest part of the level, in my opinion, is from this wave and the part immediately after it, I think are the hardest parts for me. And this UFO. It, it, it's just awkward and it's filled with really specific timings that I'm not the best at, but as you can tell, I'm going to be trying my best to do it correctly. And then I don't know why, but that part just feels like spamming to me, even though it's not, if that makes sense. So like right there, it, it feels like spamming to me. So like, from here on out, I'm just pressing at like the same rate and hoping it works. Da, so I go, da, 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 and kind of just go like based off of that. Even in the wave, I do that. So let's see. Da, 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 da. That's pretty much what it feels like I'm doing, even though it might not be what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Did not know where I put the last checkpoint, but now I know where it is, so that's good. And uh, this part here, you're going to want to just push it as soon as you go through the orb. So, like, not the orb, the portal. So, you go through, da 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 da. And that's what you want to do. And I hate this part here, because I remember, even when I wasn't very good at this level, this part felt free. But ever since I came back, I feel like I have to time that jump a lot more, and I don't know why. 
So I feel like I need to hit it late. I know that that green orb you need to hit late in order for you to not die. So right there you need to hit it late. And then this part, it's just kind of tap as soon as you land. And that's the whole goal of that part. But this part, you, it's just memorization. And thankfully I remembered most of it from when I played it a lot so it didn't take a whole lot of time to pick up again and this last part you just need to kind of straight fly but not at the same time so i guess now i'm gonna go through and try and beat the level to the best of my ability and you guys will just see some highlights now I already can tell that I'm going to be sick and tired of this beginning part by the end of the level because I can usually get through the cube and the ship pretty consistently. But and now that I'm actually sitting down to beat the level, I, I know I'm going to be playing through it a whole lot. <laughs> I'm just going to die constantly at that wave and UFO is my guess. Or I'll just be the first try, but that's definitely not going to happen. See, I told you it wasn't going to happen. I also hate that part. It just, it feels like it's supposed to do something else, but it doesn't. Like, I feel like you're supposed to bounce off some, like, boost pad some like gravity pads or something so you line up better with the blue orb down there but you don't so i don't know what's supposed to go down there it just feels like it wasn't super well play tested if that makes sense i'm i'm constantly trying to fumble over my words because i'm trying to like say say things while playing the game and that's not going too well but you know i i, I did it again i said you know i'm starting to catch on to my my ticks, you know? Gosh dang it, I'm... I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> I did it. Like, uh... I'm just gonna shut up for now, I guess. Bleh. Um... So, I, I guess I should also note that I'm gonna only be going for the first and third coins in the level, even though I th there are three coins, because I just find the second coin to be annoying and not fun to go for. It just kind of feels like luck to me, personally. Just basically, I'm gonna practice this part of the level a whole lot with the music, try and build in some muscle memory, as I just beat it no problem. <laughs> I, I really feel like the hardest part of that whole section is those two really fast UFO clicks. Uh, I'll tell you when. They're like right in that, right after you teleport up to the top there. Those are really tight timing. And it just, as you can see, I die there a lot. I also think the harder I concentrate, the louder I tap the keyboard, which is kind of funny, but also unfortunate because it picks up on the mic more. Uh, I, I get, I don't know why, but when I get to that mini wave, I, I feel nervous and it's like, I don't even know why. It's not super hard. I just feel like nervous. And I feel like part of it's just because when I was playing this level, when I was, like, however long ago when I played it, like, a lot, clearly, um, that would, like, signify that I was getting far, and I just get nervous, but it's not even halfway through the level, so I don't know why I get so nervous over right now. I almost died there. It would have been pretty funny if I did, though. I hit that really late. New best, so that's cool. Dang it! 
<laughs> uh, I knew that I was going to jinx myself as soon as I started talking, but... I, I, I've i only spent a few attempts in here, and I already have a new best, which is a good sign. Dang. Double dang. <laughs> I'm I bleh, I hate that st the UFO part it just feels awkward no matter how much you play through it it just feels awkward 100% of the time <laughs> I would be so sad if that actually happened uh, if I make it through the next time I get to the spam- Okay, well, I need to practice the spammy part more. But I, I feel really good after the spammy part for the rest of the level. This is not good gameplay, not gonna lie. I, I hate- And it's like, doesn't even sync. Like, I could understand if it's, if it's synced to the level, or synced to the song, but it doesn't. The spammy part's just annoying and feels like out of place to me. Alright, I'm gonna go back to regular playing again. I oh yeah. That that reminds me. Uh, when I first when this level first came out and I first started playing it, it was ranked as a medium demon, which if you go out here, as you can see right now it's a hard demon. But it used to be oh I can't I can't even do that. Uh but it used to be a medium demon. So this level after like being out for a while, people like uh, they decided that they were gonna make the game not make the game. They decided they were gonna make this level ranked harder. They're like, huh, maybe this level isn't as easy as we said it was. So that at least made me feel better to find out when I came back to this level because I had beaten like hard demons and like even a few like insane demons. And this one was still a medium demon that I was struggling on, and I'm like, I don't understand. But <sighs> I guess it all just fits to your how good you are at certain game modes, and these game modes do not line up well for me. <laughs> I'm not pressing those at the time that I'm used to pressing those, so I keep dying there. I say keep dying, but I all I literally remember was just dying there, and that's how I died there. So that must have meant clearly that I've been doing that all the time. <laughs> I'm upset at myself. There are times in this game, and this was happening on that attempt, where I'll, my mind will just start to wander rather than focus on playing the game, and I'll just die to stupid stuff, like I just died there. Um, and what was going on in my mind during that part was, I started zoning out during the wave section, and I lived through it, and I was like, wow, I'm surprised that I lived through that wave section after I completely like stop paying attention to it and then my mind just was like thinking wow wow that's crazy and i eventually died because of it because i wasn't focusing on the game <laughs> well i'm back here again I should have died there. I beat it. 
Let's go. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I was talking about because I was focusing really hard at the end there. Oh, I was talking about how my mind was wandering, and I completely had my mind wandering when I finally beat the level. But it is over. I actually beat it. Wow, I beat that faster than I thought I would. Um, <sighs> let's see how many attempts I had. All right, so I poured, I, I don't know, I think it was a little over 100 into this, and a couple, probably like 100 or so, into each of the uh, copyable levels I had. But it's over, <laughs> and I feel really relieved about that. So that's good. Um, uh, I guess if you like the video, uh, make sure to push that like button down below because it tells me that you like the content that we made. And uh, I say we made, but I actually just made this one, and that feels weird to me because <laughs> this is the first thing I record along. Um, but if you liked it, push the like button down below. It really does help, and it lets me know I'm doing the right thing. Um, you could also push subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy the content that all of us make, me, Jeff, and Bryce, or me, Tara, Bryce, Zarif, and uh, Jeff, Cupid. There we go. That's how it is. Uh, and it'll let us know that all of us are making the right content. Um, if I'm not doing something right, or you think I could do something better, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, because that way I can actually like take your advice and try and go in the right direction, which is something that I really want to do. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know what individual content I'll be making next. It might be another Geometry Dash thing. It might be a Mario Sunshine thing. I don't really know. Um, but if you have a suggestion uh, for a job, if you guys want me to do another Geometry Dash level uh, and it's not insanely hard, uh, you could put it down in the description. Uh, not the description. Put it down in the comments, I guess. That works too. Um, my skill range goes anywhere from probably up to like an easy hard demon for easily being able to complete for a video, if that makes sense. So probably any medium demon or below would work. And I really do enjoy playing easy demons because I, I think it's just like the right amount of balance between fun and difficulty. Um, I guess with that, though, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. Bye-bye.